Australians already have their own beatified citizen, the first in their country's history. Now they're waiting for Mary McKillop to be made the country's first saint. The expectations are that it will happen any minute, but the realistic uh, view is that it will take time. Vatican theologians recently agreed that there was strong evidence that a woman with untreatable cancer was cured through the intercession of Mary McKillop. That possible miracle would put Blessed Mary McKillop well on the path to being declared a saint. The family and friends got together and they prayed to, to, to Mary McKillop and the lady from being bedridden and to totally unable to do anything for herself was soon better. She was able to go and buy her the wedding dress with her daughter and within a few weeks she went to the daughter's wedding and danced at the wedding. Maria Casey is the postulator for Mary McKillop's case. She says that though the canonization will take time, everything is well underway for Australia's first saint to be celebrated. Theologians came to the opinion that there was sufficient evidence that the uh, cure was through the intercession of Mary McKillop and so is on the road to being declared a miracle. So it will now go to the cardinals and bishops, members of the congregation of the causes of saints. Mary McKillop is revered by Australians as a national figure. Born to Scottish immigrants in 1842, she spent her life working to provide education to poor children and helping Australia's sick and elderly. But for all the good-hearted work she did, McKillop ran into obstacles, even from within the church. She had a lot of people who were against her, who did some vile things. She was excommunicated from the church. She was never bitter about those people. In fact, she forgave them from the moment these things happened. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the death of Mary McKillop. In 1995, John Paul II beatified her, and last year, Benedict XVI visited her tomb. For now, all Australia can do is wait to be able to call Mary McKillop their country's first saint.